The Panasonic LA7200. You hear that right. Panasonic, not Panavision. Wishful thinking. The LA7200 was built and sold as an attachment for the Panasonic DVX100 camcorder. Unlike most other adapters that have been designed to achieve Cine aspect ratio with wide sensors, the LA was designed to achieve 16x9 images using a 4x3 sensor. If a 1.33 stretches a 4x3 to 16x9, it also stretches a 16x9 to 2.39x1 or a 3x2 to 2x1, what we are going to do with it. The LA can be easily equipped with standard 72mm threads without hassle. Although the lens elements are relatively big, the adapter is light at 380 grams, which of course means that it has a super flimsy plastic housing. You can't have everything. The LA doesn't have any focusing option, and it might be at the center of the focus through myth. Just like with any other adapters, you can't focus with a system with just the taking lens. The LA is fixed focus to a certain point. If you offset the focus with the taking lens, astigmatism will reduce the sharpness. With the DVX100 only being standard definition and the deep depth of field that small 1 3rd inch CCDs on that camera produce, the loss of sharpness was just kind of irrelevant. If you want to go close, you have to have diopters in your back. More about that in a second and in scope chapter 3. Still, it is one of the few adapters that is light enough, has a wide enough field of view and a large enough rare element to be a candidate for DIY anamorphic zoom setups. The LA works best with a wide lens and a medium distance to subject, something like we got here using a Canon FD 35mm concave. You can already tell by the candles in the background how the sharpness falls apart towards the sides. Unlike the liters, it produces nice horizontal flares out of the box. And as you can see in this context, focusing just the taking lens is sufficient. And there goes your focus through myth. When we reframe this to 2.39 by 1, we see a quite handsome overall anamorphic look. Sharpness is withstanding a 200% magnification, at least in the center. Wrecking focus shows nothing unexpected, like the lack of oval bokeh. Ramping the iris shows that the LA stays usable wide open, dealing nicely with a maximum aperture of f2 on the 35mm concave. The second test setup reveals that the wide field of view might be practical, but that it's also kind of boring, at least in this setup. The deep depth of field sucks the magic right out of it. It also reveals that the LA7200 is rarely really sharp, but it's sufficiently so in most situations when a wide lens is used. For a close focus, you are going to need diopters and the LA has no threads on the front. One simple method is to simply use 70mm diopters like this from Vivitar. They are not great, but sufficient with the LA. More about those in our diopter feature in Scope Chapter 3. As the opening of the LA is 108mm high, you can make them stick inside that way. Not elegant, but fast to swap. And that will be important when working with the LA. This way you can focus very close, but the 77mm diopter will reduce the available field of view, so you will have to use a longer lens or crop a little to avoid hard vignetting. The Panasonic LA700 offers a hint of a wide anamorphic look with little effort and weight which is why the LA became so popular and hard to get. At time of release, the Panasonic LA7200 was traded for $1000 in good shape. Links are in the description.